previously on Blankard. Talking to Killer V over there, huh? I am. So what should I tell Joel and the rest of them? They're fired! And not technically because they have a five-year contract and a non-compete clause. You're one of those being let go. I really don't know what's going to happen to us. I did tell you that I got picked for that Harmontown thing, right? Yeah, you told me that. Why won't he respond, guy? Who? Dan Harmon. Dan who? Dan Harmon. Wait, Har isn't he the one that created the NBC sitcom community? Yes, yes he is. He also got fired for publicly humiliating Chevy Chase in front of his wife and daughter by starting a Fuck You Chevy chant. Classy. This guy's a hero and a role model. Yeah, either way, it's a big opportunity and I really feel for the guy. Finally picked someone to go with me. Big Al's coming. And uh, he's gonna drive me up there. So, remember when you borrowed $500? Three guys we don't a have truck. a show, is the reality. I don't have any fucking money. Jim's got nothing going on. Uh, you apparently have your... Wrecked apparel, man. <laughs> we gotta figure out a way to get the show back, really. Hey, get in here. Hey, how you, hey how's it going? Good, man? good. How are you, Alan? Uh, it's Alex. Okay, let's go get some talking done. I'm here. What's up? You want a cigarette? I quit. Yeah? How long? About a year. What do you need? You remember we used to come here when we were little kids, man? And nothing mattered. We used to just mess around. Mm -hmm. Get high, watch, look at some fucking porno mags. Life was so much easier then, man. It was Hank's fault, man. I really thought I'm not that... here. I'm not going to go through this again. We're not going to really go through... I really thought... I thought it, he was... I, We're not going to go through this whole fucking thing again. I'm not doing it again. We've been through this. There's no scenario in which you're not the bad guy here. You're the one who fucked up the thing with Brandon. You're the one who got, decided to side with Hank and do the fucking shit like the cross burning on my yard. That was you and Hank. I've thought it was, about it for I months. Thought, I, he, I thought we were going to make you Jim. What do you we mean you were going to make me, Jim? We were going to make America fall in love with you, man. We were going to... He, he I wasn't on the show. Why would you go back? We decided we would never do that. I didn't have nothing left, man. You're running around, you got your kids and your family and your this and your life. So I'm and supposed to nothing. feel bad because you this. haven't made anything of your life? I got I'm fucking this. 34, dude. I have to do something. And if you're not going to be on my team, it's not going to work. I mean, it could work without you. You I'm happy to, really to do that, but feel? it's not my responsibility to bring you up to where I'm at in my life. I can't catch you up. You really want to feel, Joel? What do you mean, do I want to feel? You really want to feel alive. You really want to feel, you want to really feel this day. I think I made everything right. I don't know that that's possible. How could you make it right? I made everything right, come on. I don't think... Come on, man, you know what, look. Give me, give me five minutes. If you don't like it, you can go. Oh, walk with me into the woods so I can kill you. Sure. Like that, like I'm gonna fucking do that. That's right. You you're covered in blood and you're gonna walk me into the woods. Come on, man. You don't remember to get back here? Let's go. Drew, how are you? Hey, not bad. How about you? Good, good, good. good. Hey, uh, first of all, you're not in trouble. I just wanted to bring you in. Um, okay. I'm, I just wanted to check in more than anything. I guess I wanted to get your feedback on the way you think things are going around here. 
Hey, not bad. Um, everyone's been super cool to me. Okay. It's a fun job. Well, that's that's great. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, this is your first your first film job, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit because there's going to be some changes going on. Uh, you're not going anywhere, as far as I'm concerned. So, I, okay. I know that's a little a, worried. A frightening way to start, sure. but rest assured, I I want to keep you around. Um, I want you to take a more active role. Um, not what, a problem with that. Okay. Uh, I need you to fire Joel, Jim, Callie, and Tom. Can you do what that do you, for me? What do, you, what do you mean, fire? Done. They're done. And I need you to let them know. I have to do that? Yeah. Dude, they're like, I've built like a good relationship with these guys. Okay. Jim's like one of the... I want you to understand it this way, okay? Just follow me on this. Your job, as you, you are climbing the mountain. Yes. Do you know what the mountain is? Um, Let me tell you what the mountain is. You follow me now. Just listen. There's one way to get up the mountain. You need to have a vehicle to get up the mountain. Okay? You could ride a like, mountain bike, listen, maybe. Your first trip up the mountain, you get the shittiest car they can put you in. Do you follow me? I've been there. You and I are pushing someone else's shitty car up the mountain. This isn't our car. We're working our way up the mountain here. Eventually, when you start off with a shitty car, you know what's going to happen? You're going to go up the mountain a little bit. The shitty car is going to fall apart. The wheels are going to come off, and it's going to roll right back down. So, you know how you avoid getting stuck when it rolls down a hill? Brakes. No. Listen. You be the person pushing the car. The car's not going on its own. If you're pushing the car up the mountain, when the car breaks, you don't fall with it. If you're in the car, you go down the hill with the model. You get it? I'm registering. Stay out of the car. Push the car. People notice who are pushing the car. For some reason, JC loves this show, and when that car breaks, he's going to give us another one. And he'll give us a better one. You've got to stay out of the car. Do you follow me? I'm following you, man, but still, I don't... No, but no... Stay out of the car, Drew. Wait, so... Hank wants you to fire Joel. You to fire Joel. Not only Joel, but Callie, Tom, and Jim. Wait, wait. He asked you to fire everyone. And you said no, right? <laughs> well, okay, about that. Okay, how do you think, how do you figure I have a choice in this? He's my boss. Okay. Hank is my boss. Drew. And you know Hank Drew. is not the easiest guy to get along with. I understand with. that. Do you understand that he gets paid like twice what you get paid? So you're going to fire people for him. So basically, I'm getting paid to do the hard job, but let me have you do my hard job. I am Hank's bitch, pretty much. Okay, so how do you think that makes me look? I'm going to be with the guy that's somebody's bitch? I'm the one firing him. Okay, but you're firing somebody that's somebody else's job. So now everyone's going to look at you and accuse you of this, and it's going to be your fault. Okay, Drew, let's rethink this here. Okay. You know. told Hank no. You told Hank no, right? And Hank said, oh, right, right, I understand, but you're going to do it. I mean, I tried to tell him no, but he wouldn't let me tell him no. He wouldn't let me tell him no. How would you feel if some dude like came up to me and was like, hey, I want to buy you a drink? And I was like, sorry, Drew, I couldn't tell him no, so now I'm going to go out on a date with this guy because I couldn't tell him no. Is that what you want? No, that's okay, not what so I want. Okay, so what would you want me to do if a guy came up to me and said that? What would, how would you want me to handle it? Well, like, Obviously, I'd expect for you to tell them that you have a boyfriend. Oh, because I have a boyfriend. So obviously, Drew, if this is not your job, you're not going to do it. It's not your job. You know what? You're right. I know I'm right. Right? You're right. Right? You're right. Okay, so you're totally going to tell him, this is not my job, and I'm not doing it. And you just look yes. him in the eye and you tell him, you know what, Hank? This is not my job. I know that this is a hard thing to do, but it's not fair for you to put this off on me. You know what? I'm going to march right into Hank's office and tell him that. Drew, you're going to take care of this. Like, I mean, take care of it. Like, not fire them, but, like, tell Hank, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think so. You yes. think so? Yes, I will. You're going to? Yes. Okay, because I don't want to have to, like, go to the bar. Because if you do it, I'm going to want to go at least have a drink. 
because I... There's no need for drinks and bars and guys. There's... So you're going to do it? Yes. First thing tomorrow. Okay. Okay. We'll see. All right. I don't want to hear your stupid voice. That's why I'm texting you to begin with. I didn't ask you to fucking call me. If I wanted to call you, Joel, I know I how to use to a phone. To I'm not a fucking retard. I know what a phone is. It's the communication medium where you go, hi, and you have to think of everything on the spot. I'm way better if you give me a minute to read through what you said, type it up again. You know, it's just- I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I'm sorry. What? I don't know how to say this, but you're out. I don't, I genuinely don't understand what that means. It means simply that you're fired. <laughs> you can't fucking do that. Don't even try to fuck with me. You can't. Yes, I can. Well, it's not me, but you're no longer in charge of the show. There's no, no. You don't get to just take my fucking idea and keep it going without me. What are you going to do? Fucking replace me? Good luck getting anybody that can do the bullshit that I can. Rounding up this fucking ragtag group of idiots? Yeah, you get Jim to fucking show up here on time. Big L, you're lucky if he doesn't fucking blow you off completely and not even show up for weeks on end. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck Hank. And have fun trying to replace me. You're gonna fucking replace Dennis? Dennis is going to be replaced by some other fucking jabroni? Whatever. Replace me then. So, I'm Dennis. Guess what, Jim? Turns out you're a pretty good friend. By comparison to Big Al, anyways. He fucked up the entire thing with Dan Harmon. I ended up kicking him out of the car before I even got to Harmon Town, so no, I went by myself and in a really shitty mood. Can we do an interview with him? With him? This is, uh, Joel. He's been oh, right, 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 right. We've been yeah. yeah. I, 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 it was at the risk of sounding presumptuous. Uh, I, can, we, can we do it? In there. Oh, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to say bye to Aaron. Okay. All right. It's going to be them interviewing Dan, right? Yeah. Uh, where are you guys there? Yeah, let's go dance a little there, I guess. Oh. Okay, so every interview I've ever seen is kind of lame, and people ask questions. Does anyone meet you that want food? It's kind of sent back to China. Um, yeah, I think in the other room, okay. we wanted um, some hot wings okay. and some uh, hummus plate. Okay. Do you yeah. How dare you? Uh, me. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so you want to send in, in the equipment room. Right. Right. Sure. Can cool. I get your name just right? Ryan. Ryan? Sure. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. What? I apologize for uh, interrupting your food order. I know that's an important thing. It's all right. I'm used to it. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of food orders uh, as part of the tour, and uh, interviews interrupting them are just part of the process. It's how you get asses in the seats. Speaking of, have there been asses in the seats on the tour? Yeah. Not as much as, as I'm entitled to, but uh, there's been enough to, 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 to unveil my majesty. Have you felt it's been unveiled to its fullest so far, or are you still, still warming up? That is something I, I, I would reserve for the uh, Madison Square Garden type crowds. I mean, it's like I, 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 I give enough to the, to the number of people that show up and the quality of those people. So you go to like a Bloomington, Indiana, that's like uh, 200 people, but They're from Bloomington, Indiana. Please, I don't know if you're watching Blinkering right now, but you gotta, you, you just gotta Blinkered. stop. Blinkered. Uh -huh. Okay. Like, 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 whatever, whatever derivation of blinking that you're, that you're, that you're consuming, like, 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 just do yourself a favor and blink, like, like permanently. Close your eyes. Stop watching. It, it, you, what you're watching is the product of, of uh, derivative, like, asshole. Just a piece of shit. Um, uh, what's your name? Joel. Joel, I mean, listen to his name, but listen to it in this voice. Joel. Uh, I'm Joel. Uh, uh, Joel. You watch blinking with me?
It was real hard on it. That's why you should watch it. It's effort. I mean, I work so hard. Now, now, listen to this. Excuse me. Would you please watch Big Bang Theory? Doesn't that seem like more graceful and less needy? Watch that. What? Do you know that Big Bang Theory is probably on right now? Why are you watching this? What is you? Are you a Joel? If you are, it's not too late to get off that fucking train to nowhere. Um, if you, if you, if you aren't a Joel, you've made a mistake. Correct it. Sorry, this happened to you. It happens to the best of us. I, 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 uh, I went canoeing once, and I ended up. Uh, a portaging half the time. It was just so, too many sandbars. That's what you're on right now, a sandbar of entertainment. You're watching b Blink Blinkered. <laughs> it's a sandbar. There's mosquitoes swarming your face. You're, 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 you're covered in bites. Uh, you're, 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 bears are attacking you. Uh, you. You've gone a wrong way down, the, down a bad river. Get out. Hitchhike. Get back to a gas station. Blow somebody if you have to. Uh, get home. Get safe. And watch Big Bang Theory. It's a good show written by good people. Yeah, I people. think I've got everything that I need, so we're... I'm, 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 we're I just need one more moment. Uh, uh, you um, uh, should, 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 should... You've lost something. You've lost some time. But don't lose the lesson. Stop indulging Joel. Stop watching Blink Blinkering. It's bad entertainment. It's bad. It could, should be called Blinker Stupid. I could have said stinkering, but I'm going to save that kind of shit for my show. Yep, yeah, thanks. Look forward to that. Oh, I'm going to have a good show. Because I, because I experienced this. I touched your show, and I know that your show is an antenna for sh fucking shit. I know all the bad energy came out of my body. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I get it. You, uh, no, 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 no. I just a couple more things I want to say. Yeah, we'll just... You know, I, I honestly, like, I can't think of a worse show I've ever not seen. All right, I'm done. What's up, Joel? Ms. G. What's up, Kat? Uh, dude, don't worry about uh, Big Al at all, because when has there ever been a situation uh, where we were like, oh, thank God Big Al was involved in that, because without him, Etc. You know what I mean? That's not going to happen. So, uh, he wants you to miss him. And he will come back around when things start to get better, as they usually do. Shut up, cat. And, uh, yeah, screw it, dude. And if you, you, you can even keep the $500, man. It's not even that big of a deal. I was just wanting to buy some filming equipment to start my video extravaganza. Yeah, dude, keep the money. Don't worry about Big Al. It's going to be fun. You know how uh, after we quit doing the show, he got a job as a server? Well, he's like adopted the carny code of servers, and he fucking chose to stand up for a random stranger in the service industry that works at a gas station because he can't get his head out of his ass and see that he was supposed to be there for his friend that day. No, so we try to sit down and hash it out and fucking... She stared at me like it was my verbal cue next. Okay, ma'am, so how much do I owe? Do I really have to say that? Isn't the next thing in the transaction where you go, oh, your total is blah, blah, blah? Fair enough. Yeah. That's it. That's where well, it ends. Why, you I can't understand. go beyond that. Why do you But you, why do you have to yell at this lady? Why, because why? she wasn't doing her job, and that's what she's paid to do that. But it's her not boss your job yell to yell at her, too. But it it you're not her boss. It's not your job to yell at anybody. I am anybody the customer. Am I not everybody's boss? No, you're not. The, the customer, customer is always right. You can't, no. The customer's always right. No, they're not. Yeah. And you're wrong in this scenario. That's just because you're a server, and you're making everything personal. It's not you personal. You take it personally. That Absolutely. people are shitty with relatives of yours that may work in a similar type See, of situation. See, and then you go bring it to my mom. I'm done. I didn't yeah. say here, Bob. Well, but that's what you're doing. I'm, I'm done. not. I'm saying I that's am. why I'm you're done. being shitty about it because it, you're taking it personal. Yes. I'll continue I this am. and put this whole fucking thing out. I don't care. Okay, then quit being a pussy and hanging no, up on the call. I'm done. Oh, well, I'm oh. done because you're bringing up a valid point, Joel. No, it's not you're a valid point. You're bringing up a valid point. point. That's all you do is transpose it to your mom. The way you're wording it is making it about this sweet old lady that has to deal with shitty people yes. all day. Why? Why? Because you're making it about your mom. The fact that you think it's okay to just talk to people like that is what the problem is. There was no issue with anybody else. 
She, she didn't even say there. anything. Dude, it's over. I, I can't do anything about admit, it, I want guy. you to admit it's the fact definitely that... definitely not the top worst five things I've ever done in my I life. I don't really so. care. It's okay, then what do you care? Tell me. I, I care about the fact that my friend doesn't think it's worth his fucking time to maybe consider that he was wrong that day. That's what's distressing to me. Because I can't work with somebody like that. Then we're not going to work together. That's yet. the because pussy you answer. You did this. I'll give the phone back. You did I'll this. I'll do this. You put I'll me on that. I don't need like this. this. I don't no, need this. I'm it, just going to puss That's out and run away. That you I'm would a do pussy. This on camera. I'm just a okay. pussy and I'm going to run away. Oh my god, you said something I don't yeah. like. Fine. We're just done with that. Oh, we're just done. You just got to fucking quit on everything? What did you yeah. do? Quit your job? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. What did you do? Quit on your lease? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, I did. Yep. How many things are you going to quit on? I don't know. It's a we'll pussy see. fucking response. It's a... It's a, it's, uh, it's a is, defective gene. Is young. It's a defective gene. Alright, I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. I'm going to quit again. There he goes. What yep. a pussy. I won't be working with you if you leave. That's Fine. seriously such a fucking bitch. You say that now. You say that fucking now. But do you know anybody else that's going to help you with this shit? That's going to help you on a regular what basis? What you just did was bullshit, guy. What you, you just did was it. bullshit. You're yeah. a fucking pussy. Yep. You're a fucking pussy. Pussy! Dan Harmon confirms his community return. The show's creator, who parted ways with the cult comedy last year after three seasons, took to Twitter to put all the rumors to rest and confirm that he will indeed be making his way back to Greendale. A fan on Twitter begged him for a straight answer, to which Harmon replied, Yes, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. You can thank Joel McHale. It's still unclear in what capacity he'll be involved with the next installment of the NBC series, but do you think Harmon's return will save the show for a few more seasons? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and stick with us for... Are you the Joel from Blinker? Is there any way you can make kind of autograph for me? This is what happened to me, bro. This is the guy, this is the one that fucking started all. I can't, I can't be here for this. What the Come fuck? Come on, man. You always wanted to kill somebody, right? I Re also wanted to have a family and live the rest of my life free, you fucking dickhead. Why do we, what are you why doing? Do we do this? We do this so we could play in the fairy tale world, man. We're play This is real life, man. You wanted to do it, here's do it. Who would better fucking What do you person? mean do it? He ruined everything, dude. What do you mean he ruined everything? It's it was you, you fault, fucking man. idiot. You it's ruined all, it. It's not me, dude. It's, it was him. It was you. You've it, deluded yourself into thinking it's him. It's not going to make it. It was I fucking can't, him, dude. I can't be involved. Sir, you're already involved, man. No, dude. Seriously, you can't. Yeah. You can't do that. Uh -uh. It's time, man. What do you mean? What are you doing? Let's finish it, man. Finish him. You, you want to know what it feels like? You get the rush? We talked about it, but that's not... This is. We didn't agree that... Fuck him, man. That, I didn't even have kids then. It's your turn. I can't. It's not like he was a bad guy.
Joel, JC here. Hey, listen, guy. <clears throat> Saw the numbers trending nice. You know, I believed in you all along. I thought this was a tremendous idea. Now listen, Joel, I'd like to kind of push the reset button and you and I get together and kind of talk the future over. What do you say? How's your week shaping up for maybe dinner and cocktails? Niggas wanna have some, all I want's to have it all. They wanted something different, nigga problem solved. Drunk off the high life, death is when I sleep it off. Life's a hangover and this rapping shit's my Tylenol. I could call any girl in my phone right now. Have a pillow in her mouth and watch her bite down. She like me cause I'm flyer than a kite now. It's funny how I get these write ups on what I write down. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker, drinker. 